guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Review time! Uh, this is the Eoshin SS 125 amp boat ESC with built-in BEC that I picked up from Banggood. I actually bought two of them. And uh, I know some of you already know that, so here's the other package. Still brand new in the package. Stay in there. For now. Till I need it. Anyhow, never hurts to have a spare just in case. You never know, right? So they do come with instructions, 35 bucks Canadian, free shipping, awesome price, awesome deal. Great little ESC. And I'm running this in my HK Genesis, which is a 41-inch catamaran, for those of you who don't know. And from the factory, of course, it come with a motor. And the minimum requirements, Hobby King says, is a 100-amp ESC. So I figured, what the hell, 125, we're good to go, and with a really good burst rate, too. Uh, anyway, so the instructions that come with this thing are actually for toggle radio users. Wow, that did me a lot of good. Not. Um, I use a pistol grip for my boats and my land vehicles. I only use toggles for airplanes, quads, and helicopters because that's where those radios, in my opinion, belong. Okay, pistol grip for everything else. So, of course, being Marine ESC, it's water cool. Okay. Now, the uh, downloadable instructions from Banggood's website are also identical to this, and they suck if you're using a pistol grip radio. However, I found out that these were copies of Birdie's, or Birdie's a copy of it. I don't know. I don't really care. Okay, but I checked on the Birdie's, and I found the instructions. Uh, you can get them actually off Hobby King's website. I think that's where I got these ones, if I remember right. I'll, I'll go find the link again, throw it in the description of the video. Uh, but anyway, you'll get three pages when you download for pistol grip users. Two pages if you're using the bang good ones that you download. Um, but let's go through the paperwork. Now, bang good does carry the 125 and the 200 for sure on their website. Okay, I don't know if they carry the others. I didn't go that far through the website, but the 125 and the 200. Now, the 125, which is one I bought, does not does not have reverse okay if you want reverse you got to buy the 200 okay and it does have a built-in BEC as well now they do say this is for 2 to 7 S that part for the 125 amp ESC for sure because that's what I own is false it will not do the programming sequence for 2S LiPo so if you want to run 2S LiPo off this ESC, can you? Yes, you can. But you must program for NIM and NICAD and use your own LiPo alarm or a LiPo cutoff um, unit to cut it off. Okay? Otherwise, you go poof, and there goes your battery. Okay? So I wanted to program it for 2-cell LiPo because my boat recently got into an accident, which is why this is out on the table and not being shown off in my boat. Um, so I've had to repair my boat. Now, one of my batteries got nailed, which really ticked me off because that was a brand new match set of YKS uh, 5,000 milliamp batteries with a 50 to 60 C burst. Now, even though they weren't expensive, I still lost one. And the other one is kind of actually a little flaky, so I think something might have happened. But I did check my ESC, and it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it passes all the tests. It's good to go. Uh, so I just, I definitely got battery issues and I have to get batteries um, so when I do my testing after the boats back together I'm gonna throw a 2s lipo in there because I've got a 5200 here that works perfect um, and I'll just program it for NAM and run it for about five minutes and that'll be it okay we'll do a video showing you how it looks and runs in the water since the redo anyway so you can definitely go 3s 4s 5s 6s 7s or NIM. no problems and they don't list factory default for what the battery is set at. Okay, they say for programming options for each perimeter, asterisk here, sign means it's default setting. Do not, people, please, do not trust default settings, no matter what. Even if your life depended on it, don't do it. Okay, program this thing yourself so that you know you've got the programming right. Okay, assuming that they did it right is the stupidest mistake you'll ever make. So don't assume that they did it right. However, auto throttle range, they say, is default. I made sure it was programmed that way. I want auto throttle range. 
You also have a choice of 1 to 1 or 1 to 8 millisecond range. Okay, hard start or soft start. Now here's where some people are going to get a little screwed up on this one. So let's go to throttle setting. According to the instructions, one music tone and two beeps is your throttle setting option. So you got to enter that programming option. Program your actual throttle setting, one of these two. Okay, I found the auto throttle range works the best. Then you're going to have to, you know, do the save routine, blah, 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 blah. They get right into detail. Okay, then you're going to have to go back in again to the throttle setting setup and choose either hard start or soft start. I chose soft start because as much as I like watching bullet, uh, boats fly like bullets out of the water and launch like rockets, I really don't want to do that with my boat. And even on soft start, it still kind of does it, just not as nasty. Okay, so I'm at soft start. Brake setting. Now this is a one of. Okay, no brake, soft brake. Soft brake, they say, is default. Uh, medium brake or hard brake. Okay, so this is how fast your engine is going to stop. Okay, uh, I went for no brake. Boats don't have brakes. Boats don't require brakes. Okay, um, one way or another, you're still going to coast either way. So I went no brake. This allows the motor to spin down a lot more gentle. Okay, so that's where I put mine for that setting. Now, next page. Direction and cutoff type. Now, this is kind of a no-brainer, okay? Pull the trigger. If you get a bunch of wind at your hand, okay, from the back of the prop, okay, you're already set the right way. If you get no wind at all, you might want to switch the direction. Two ways of doing this. You can program it, or you can flip any two wires you want on your motor, and it reverses the direction, okay? Now, this is a dual programming setup. Soft or hard cutoff? I went with soft. Now, timing. This is the most critical spot you are ever going to find when you're programming any ESC, is motor timing. Now, the Genesis boat, and it's the only one I have right now that's hobby grade boat, so i got to talk about that one. Now, its motor is, from what I found out all over the internet that I did find for info, it says it's a two-pole motor, okay? Cool, because Hobby King doesn't say nothing. Entity doesn't say anything either. Okay, and I bought a brand new motor, even though my old motor, which I have on the table here, by the way, did survive the fire from last year, and it's working fine. I still didn't trust it, so I bought a whole new motor. I figure everything else is going brand new, uh, so I got a spare motor. Anyway, so it's a, apparently a two-pole motor. Now that, they say, is factory default. Do I trust that setting? Are you kidding me? No. Why? Because if they were wrong in default setting for any reason, okay, and you went and you got everything else done and you went with the default on this, okay, and you went with your default on anything else that they say was default, you go for the default on this and it's programmed wrong, <laughs> goodbye ESC. We lost not only the ESC last year, when my buddy still owned this boat, but we also lost one of the batteries and almost could have had a really severe fire in there. Because that ESC, oh God, man, if you would have seen how torched it was, it was like carbonated dust when it came out of there. There was like nothing left of that ESC. I was so surprised that all it was was a top, little bit of top scorching black stuff on the top, which I've since repaired to make sure that there was no integrity loss, and there wasn't anyways, but at least now the boat doesn't stink anymore either, like burnt electrical. So yeah, very critical, you know how many poles your motor is, so you can set the right timing. Now, pulse width modulation. I don't have a clue, so please do not ask me what that is about, alright? And a lot of other people don't seem to have a flipping clue either anywhere on Google searches. Um, so I'll, I did ask a guy, though, who does build RC boats, and he didn't really explain it that well to me. Um, but the basic idea here is 8 kilohertz is for low RPM and low pole count motors. Or it could be high RPM and low pole count. Either way, 8 kilohertz. So that's what I made sure it was programmed for. Now... The 16 kilohertz range, which is rarely used apparently, according to what he told me, like rarely, is for most outrunner motors. Okay, so he said just leave it on the 8 kilohertz. And, and I told him, I said, well, I might as well because I've tried it on both and I didn't see any difference myself. So, anyways, 
So that's all of our instructions to make life simple. Um, like I said, I'll find the link again and put it in the description of the video because um, this is generalized. You know, and birdie ESCs and these, who copies who? I have no idea. I really don't care. But price point wise, awesome ESC. I already knew it didn't have reverse, and I didn't really care for reverse. I just needed an ESC to get me going and a spare one as a backup. So, hey, 70 bucks, two ESCs, you know, I'm good to go. And if you need two ESCs, because you got two ESCs to feed, well, hey, well, there you go. Um, it's pretty, pretty inexpensive and works great. No issues as of yet with this ESC. Um, you do have to buy your own plugs. That's kind of a mandatory thing. Hey, come on, it's the hobby world here. you got to buy your own stuff. Um, and besides, nobody knows what motor you're using or battery plug type. So there you go. Uh, now, as far as dinging points go, this thing's going to get some dings. Number one, you guys know it ain't perfect. Nothing is perfect. Okay, it's made by mankind. It ain't perfect. Okay, number two, the instructions that are coming with it and, and the ones that are downloadable from the websites are lousy because if you're a pistol grip user and you're trying to read this toggle user stuff it's gonna screw you up okay unless you're a guy who's a seasoned hobbyist in the RC boat you'll know yourself what you need to do on a pistol grip set you won't even need these instructions you just you know you should read them anyways because there are different programming setup styles for different DSC so you're even a seasoned guy is gonna need to read but noobs are going to get screwed up. And I'm kind of a noob right now still with it when it comes to hobby-grade RC boats, especially for the programming part. Um, you know, and I can do this now in my sleep. And I'm going to do a full how-to video and take you guys through visually, step-by-step, step, how to program this monster so that you can get it done right. Because no matter how many times you read this, okay, you still may not clue in and get it. And some people are better visual learners than they are for reading something, okay? So anyways, I will do a video on that eventually, and you'll have that to go by. Um, now, the other points, of course, uh, that we're going to lose out on is the fact that they are publicizing this everywhere, okay? Not just on Banggood, but everywhere, 2 to 7S. Okay, for this exact ESC. That is bull, because I found out already that when you try to get access to the two cell lipo cutoff, the programming restarts when it's done the three cell. Okay, um, so yeah, it's just going to go back to NIM. So, and I wanted access to the two cell, and the only way I can do it is either with a lipo cutoff or a lipo alarm, or I just run my boat for five minutes and that's it and get out of the water quick. Okay because you don't want to blow your battery. So there's some points to be lost. So we're at three out of five is the top points on this ESC. However, I still recommend it. I still think it's a pretty cool little ESC. It works really well. And hey, you can't beat 35 bucks with free shipping, okay? And uh, you'll have no problem running this thing in your 41 inch catamaran because that's the size of the HK Genesis and it runs it just fine and it runs nice and cold, okay? Um, and I've basically I've piss pounded it on the throttle and I've you know done it gentle with a little bit of you know pinning here and there and the temps are beautiful on on this and on my motor so away you go everything's awesome so I still recommend this even though I have a few dinghies on it and those are well earned and deserved ding points okay um, but honestly I can't really put it any higher than that uh, for a rating scale for those of you guys who like ratings. Uh, but anyway, so stay tuned. Um, probably in a couple of days from now, I don't know. It'll, it'll be soon though. I will do a, an actual how-to program video with this thing so that you can see how you program everything. And we'll go through it all. Uh, but uh, until then, enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, hey, if you're looking for an ESC, go to Banggood's website, check this one out. And uh, if you want to buy it, buy it. If you want reverse, though, you're going to have to buy their 200 amp version model, which is on their website, which does support reverse. Um, and eventually I'm going to try the 200 amp out, but not in my Genesis. It'll be in another boat. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so far pretty happy, pretty impressed with that overall. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.